Irma. Created by Cy Howard, transcribed from Hollywood, and starring Marie Wilson as Irma and Kathy Lewis as Jane. walk over to the vegetable department and pick me out a nice, plump, solid head of cabbage. And then I'll take it home and put it on top of a broomstick, dress the whole thing up, and then have a nice, intelligent conversation with it. I guarantee you that head of cabbage will make more sense than my roommate, Irma Peterson. <laughs> I'm going to get married. Married? Yes, I was going to make a million dollars. Oh, Irma, Alice made a million dollars before, but he always got Washington's picture on upside down. <laughs> no, King, he's in business. This is what he's making. Let me see that bottle. Right there. Drink baby face. Mother Nature's Wonder Youth Restorer. Yeah, and you see what it says? One sip and you hop and skip. You know, I got a feeling it should be one swallow when you're here today and gone tomorrow. <laughs> no, Jane. Al made this from the secret formula. Look at the ingredients. Let me see. Let me see. Baby face youth restorer contains gloppo, the vitamin extract of watermelon rind. And since you never saw a wrinkled watermelon, imagine what it'll do for your skin. <laughs> Baby face is harmless and may be taken internally or out of doors. Yeah, there's no proof. Read that right there. Baby face contains no harmful ingredients and is approved by the Board of Health of Tibet. <laughs> oh, Jane, that's nothing. Here are some testimonials I had printed. Listen to this. Baby face youth restore will take so many years off your life. One mother accidentally gave some to her nine-year-old son, and he disappeared completely. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, let me see those, will you? I have been using baby face for 62 years and now wish to sell my razor as I am too young to shave. <laughs> Fine dimples. Yeah. Now, listen to this one. I was an old soldier who was about to fade away, and I drank three bottles of baby face, and I'm still here. Signed, General Grant. <laughs> Aren't they thrilling? Oh, cookie. You're not building your hopes on this, are you? Of course I am. Has Al started to produce this stuff? Yes, he's already sold 15 bottles. And really, Jenny, it's wonderful. I, I think I'll buy a bottle, too. Irma Peterson, don't you dare use that stuff. This isn't the first thing your boyfriend has tried to sell. You remember his famous magic dandruff remover? Well, it removed dandruff. And all the hair, too. <laughs> well, Al wasn't mature then, but now he's big business. Do you realize he will make 90 cents on every bottle he sells? How much is he selling it for? 85 cents. <laughs> Eighty-five cents, and he's going to clear ninety. Yes, it's all profit, and he gets a nickel back on the bottle. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's something like that. All I know is he's going to make a fortune, and we're going to get married. Come in. It's only me, Professor Kropotkin. <laughs> Hello, Irma and Jamie. My two little hockey players. One headed for the net. And the other should have a net over her head. <laughs> oh, Professor. Yeah, so what? After six years, could you do better? Girls, do you have a little bicarbonate? Well, aren't you well, Professor? No, I lost my head and ate the goulash at the gypsy tea room. What's wrong with the goulash? It's all goo and no lash. <laughs> We haven't seen her for a couple of days. Yeah, neither have I. You know, the last time I saw her was Sunday night at the fireman's ball. She was very popular. Oh, golly, you mean the men flocked around her? Oh, yeah, she was wearing a red dress, and they thought she was a fire hydrant. 
Oh, but truthfully, I felt sorry for her. Why? Every time the music started, she would drop a handkerchief and hope some gentleman would pick it up and ask her for the dance. Well? When the night was over, she had no dancers and a very sore back. <laughs> so I volunteered to walk her home. Then she said, there's no sense kidding myself. I'm no longer young and no longer attractive. Oh, gee, she's never said that before. Yeah, I know, and as we stood on that street corner, I tried to make her feel good with flattery. I told her she was still young, still healthy, but then I almost ruined things. Oh. A cop heard me say, Kathleen, you're beautiful, and wanted to arrest me for being drunk. <laughs> I wish I knew where she was. I'd like to tell her about my Al's wonderful Utri store. Utri store? Uh oh, no. Don't, don't trouble your head about it, Professor. You look tired. Well, to tell the truth, I am, Jenny. You know, I've been reading a book about psychiatry, and it's called Are You a Schizophrenic? Well, don't look at me. I'm Swedish. <laughs> You know, Jane, it's amazing the number of people who crack up under the tension of modern-day living. Yeah. The book must be fascinating. It is, and I'll tell you more about it as I eat it. Well, goodbye, girls. Hey, and Professor, if you really feel tired and need a youth restore, I always make you one that does wonders. It'll make a young man of you. Well, then I don't want it. I couldn't bear to see a young man spend the rest of his life in my room. <laughs> help you, madam? Is this the Honest Business Bureau? Why, yes. Well, I'd like to register a complaint. Uh, what seems to be the trouble? I bought an item in good faith and it's turned out to be a fake. I want whoever makes this stuff put in jail where he belongs. I see. Uh, your name, please. Kathleen O'Reilly. Mm-hmm. Now, what is the trade name of the product you bought and what proof do you have of it being fraudulent? Well, it's called Baby Face Magic Youth Restorer. I was just experimenting with it, so I bought a little. A little? Fifteen bottles. <laughs> I wanted to give it a fair trial. And for two days, I've locked myself in my room. I've drunk it, I've rubbed it into me pores, I've even inhaled it. And you can see for yourself. Well, I don't know how you looked before you tried it. But by the looks of you now, I would say you have a good chance of sending this person up for life. <laughs> what I want. Have you any idea who makes this stuff? No, but we'll find out, and you'll be our key witness after we make the arrest. You're darn tootin'. Now, if you'll just sign this complaint. Oh, I'll be very glad to. Kathleen O'Reilly, single. Uh, that information isn't necessary. Well, it's not hurting anybody. A girl never knows who's going to read these things. <laughs> shopping with me? Honey, it's ridiculous picking out furniture for a home just because Oh, now, Al... please, Jane. I know this time it's a real thing. Al will make a big fortune and marry me. Speaking of Wonder Boy, here he comes down the street. Where? Oh, isn't it thrilling, Jane? Look at him. He walks like he's going someplace. Yes. Yes, and that fellow right behind him walks like he's going to take him there. <laughs> oh, gosh, Jane, I'm so proud of him. He's become so successful. Look at him talking to that man. Now he's putting his hand out. Probably shaking hands on a big deal. I don't think so. The other fellow's putting handcuffs on him. <laughs> oh, he's taking him away. Wait! Wait for me! Hey, why are you taking my Al? Chicken, I can't understand this. There must be some mistake, Chicken. But don't worry, I'll be back. Well, where? It won't be long. Anywhere from six months to five years, depending on his good behavior. My Good to see you again. We missed you. Well, I've been staying pretty close to my room this last week. I've had a terrible experience. 
Where's Elmer? I understand she and Ella getting married. Well, she thought they were, but I don't know. Ah, there she is. And how's our little bride to be? Oh, Mrs. O'Reilly, did you hear? Some horrible person made trouble for Al. Oh, that's a shame. Anyone who could do a thing like that must be of the lowest type. Like the skunk who swindled me. Oh, someone swindled you? Yes, but never mind what happened with Al. Oh, golly, he was doing so well in business, selling his baby face magic youth restorer. And then someone went ahead and had him put in jail. If I ever meet that person, the person who ruined my happiness... Oh, oh well, you have your own trouble. Well, I sure do. Yes, Mrs. O'Reilly, who swindled you? Me? Oh, uh, well, well I, I I think someone wants to talk to me on the phone. I didn't hear the bell well, ring. They want me to keep it a secret. Sorry. <laughs> Hello? On his business bureau, this is Kathleen O'Reilly. I filed a complaint about Babyface Youth Restorer, and now I'd like to withdraw it. What do you mean I can't withdraw it? I must. I mean, the stuff really works, really. It made me young again. What? You'll send a man over to check for time. Four? All right, I'll be here and don't be late because I want to go to the playground and skip rope. <laughs> Glory be, I just hope this works. Hello? Higgins Costumers? This is Mrs. O'Reilly. You have any kitty costumes? You do? What size do I wear? Well, I can't give the information over the phone. This is a party line. I'll be right down. <laughs> what I said, Miss Peterson. I'll have nothing to do with it. But, Mr. Cloud, I've worked for you for six years. Don't you think I deserve something? Yes, but the law won't allow me to do it. <laughs> but, but you don't even know the facts. You see, Al is manufacturing a product called Baby Face Youth Restore. And... That's all I want to hear. Three years ago, your boyfriend manufactured Professor Al's strength capsules, and you sold me a bottle. Well, uh, didn't they give you strength? Oh, I never used them. I tried them out on our great days. Yes? We had to keep them in the house because the rabbit next door would beat him up every morning. <laughs> Don't you mention your boyfriend to me. Well, what I'm asking you to do is very simple. Uh, you see, some woman tried Al's baby face youth restore and reported him to the Honest Business Bureau. Yes? Well, if you can find out who the woman is... I'll be good to drop the charge. Oh, all right, if only to shut you up. Personally, I doubt if there's anything I can do, but, uh, well... Hello. Honest Business Bureau, this is Milton J. Clyde, an attorney. Can you give me the name of the party who filed a complaint against Babyface Youth Restorer? Oh, it's against your policy. Well, uh, can you give me a general description? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I see. She sounds like nothing would help her. <laughs> well, thank you. Goodbye. I tried. Nothing doing. Well, thanks ever so much for trying anyhow. And as they say in the Navy, I'd like to give you an F for effort. Now, shall we get down to work? You're, uh, you're not too upset? Well, I, I don't know. Try me. All right. Take this letter. To uh, the Blue Star Soul Company. My client has uh, Justice Mr. Butler, the same man who has been with us since 1940. Suddenly, your little oven in the room exploded, flipped off its lid, which cut across the rug, injuring my client. Uh, more details to follow. Sincerely, Mr. J. Clyde. Well, I guess I'm all right. I got it all. Good for you. Now, read it back, please. Uh, to the Blue Star Soul Company. Sure. My client was in the room getting a little oven from the butler. <laughs> He flipped his lid, and he hasn't been the same since 1940. Uh, more details will follow. Why, you idiot, get out of here. Idiot? Mr. Clyde, don't you know it's not nice to call a lady names? Oh, I'm sorry. 
Mr. Peterson. Yes? Go home, you idiot! <laughs> and, Jamie, the amazing thing is this book on schizophrenia says that some of these people who crack up they become other personalities to escape reality. Some of them think they are famous people. Others think they are little children. Hmm, that's very interesting. So it's almost 4 o'clock. I think I'll go down and have some tea with Mrs. O'Reilly. Yeah, I talked to her an hour ago, and she seemed so tense. Jamie, do you mind if I go down with you? Oh, no, not at all. Come yeah. on, let's go. Well, uh, what could happen to Mrs. O'Reilly? Oh, oh, Mrs. O'Reilly, she's as steady as an old war horse. Only she looks like she lost the war. Nah. <laughs> Believe me, after what I've been through today with Al and Irma, I don't... Oh, here's Mrs. O'Reilly, so I'll knock. Professor, did you hear that? Yes. I've never heard her go around imitating a child. The way she sang it was most unusual. I think the word is sickening. <laughs> Maybe I ought to knock again. Go ahead. Oh. My goodness, what is going on? And I'm going to look through that keyhole. Jamie. What do you see? Two old, wrinkled, bald heads. She's got company. No, 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 my mistake. Those are knees. <laughs> She's wearing a little girl's dress. What? Yeah, yeah, and a curly wig. Oh, my goodness. What does she look like? Well, I can only describe her this way, Jamie. Centuries ago, among certain tribes, they used to they used to do away with little girls. And this may revive the custom. <laughs> Let me look, huh? Let me look. Yes. Oh, no, well, it all fits, doesn't it? Just like the book says. Tension, worry, escape from reality. Oh, come to think of it, we haven't seen her for two days, and when we did, she seemed so nervous. Oh, Professor, you think it's too late? I don't know. Come away from the door. You know, a friend of mine teaches psychology. Huh? Let me see what time it is. No, I can have him here by 4 o'clock. Right. <laughs> Jane! Jane! Oh, hi, Jane. Yeah, I was looking all over for you. Guess what? Please, Irma, not now. Not now. But I just came from the Honest Business Bureau, and at 4 o'clock they're going to interview the woman who made the complaint against Al. Irma, darling, please, be quiet. <laughs> Tragedy has struck our lives. <laughs> well, what happened? <laughs> Mrs. O'Reilly has lost her marbles. <laughs> Our Mrs. O'Reilly, who, who's always been like a mother to me? Now, Irma, no, 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 that's, that's no crying. That's all, all three of us control ourselves. But I remember her as she was. So let's go back 50 years. <laughs> you know, it, it, it seems so terrible to read about these things, and then it suddenly, suddenly happens like, like a bolt from the blue. Sorry. She was always so nice and kind. I think she'd do anything just so I'd be happy. Don't cry, honey. Don't cry. She was like a mother to me, too. Well, my grief is greater than the two of you, because to me, she was like a grandmother. <laughs> what are we going to do? Four o'clock. Four o'clock, they'll tell the story. And in the meantime, let's try to be cheerful. Come on, everybody. Everybody, laugh. <laughs> <laughs> This is her room, Sebastian, and 
Before we go in, I can't tell you how grateful we all are that you could come by. I only hope I can be of some help in diagnosing her condition. I'm, I'm ten minutes early because my psychology lecture was shorter than usual. Shall we go in? Yes, yes, but don't reveal who I am. You see, it'll help my study if she wasn't aware that I was a world-famous psychologist. Gee, it's too bad you had such a small car. If you had a Cadillac, we could tell her you're the plumber. <laughs> I'll knock. Just a minute. Down the ditch is falling down. Falling down, falling down. Hello. Hello, little Kathleen. This gentleman was in the building. Yes, yes, I know. I was expecting him. Expecting him? Typical manifestation. Dream world syndrome. Oh, Oh, how do you feel, Mrs. O'Reilly? Oh, fine, fine. Do you like my pretty dress and matching bonnet? Oh, it's lovely, dear. Would you and Irma like to play hopscotch with me? Oh, no, no, please, please, girls, go. Control yourself. Mrs. O'Reilly. Want to play post office? <laughs> no, 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 thanks. What I would like to know is, well... Tell me all about yourself. Well, three days ago, I was a very old and tired woman. That's right. I saw her. Believe me, nobody was ever so old and so tired. <laughs> but I've been getting younger and younger every hour since I started drinking baby face to my diffuse store of baby face. Yes. And I want this gentleman to go back to the honest business bureau and tell them how wonderful Babyface really is. Honest business bureau? What's this all about? Aren't you the, the man from the honest business bureau? No. Glory be, you must think I'm not. <laughs> not. Yeah, but he's only got a quarter interest. We all think you're not. <laughs> Mrs. O'Reilly, we've been worried sick. Do you mean to say that you're the one who put in the complaint? Yes, but when I found out the, the stuff was made by Alan, how much I was hurting Irma, I got desperate. Oh, Mrs. O'Reilly, you mean you were doing all this for me? Yes. Oh, I love you. And I knew the moment I walked in here there wasn't anything wrong with your mind. You look just as normal as I do. Oh, I think that... Oh, my goodness. Give it her all leave. Why? Come in. I must convince him I look younger than I was when I bought the youth store. Then I will be free. Oh, uh -huh. now I get it. But, Mr. Riley, you'll never fool anybody in that costume. Not as long as they can see your knees and face. <laughs> I tell you, you hide in the bedroom and let Irma say that she is Mrs. O'Reilly. Do you think it'll work? Don't worry, I can convince anybody. Oh, this I can't watch. Bye. All right, Irma, I'll go in the bedroom and I won't come out unless you call me. Glory be, that's him. I'll get in the bedroom. Come in. I'm from the Yannis Business Bureau. Oh, yes, I'm expecting you. You're expecting me? Yes, baby face does wonders. You mean you're Mrs. O'Reilly? Amazing, isn't it? How it happened so suddenly. Hmm. Well, now that you see how it works, I guess you'll have to let Al go. Hmm. I guess so. Oh, I'm so happy. You know, it's wonderful when things turn out right. Yes, I guess so. I, um, uh, I think I'll leave now. Oh, what's your hurry? Would you like some tea? No, I wouldn't mind. Uh, Mr. Riley, where do you keep the tea bag? <laughs> Parker! <laughs> she looks worse every time I see her. That guy will get 50 years. <laughs> was produced and directed by Cy Howard. The night script was written by Cy Howard, Mark Levy, and Stanley Adams. Remember next week...
instead of dialing your telephone to listen to your best friend, dial your radio to this same Columbia station, same time, to listen to... My Friend, Irma. Starring Marie Wilson as Irma and Kathy Lewis as Jane with John Brown as Al. Professor Kropotkin was played by Hans Conrad. Also appearing in tonight's cast were Irene Pedro, Alan...